Over the next few videos, we're going to look at how we can use patterns that we observe to help us do some of our calculations with negative numbers more easily. To start, I'm going to take you back to grade one. What's two plus three? Okay, I'm sure you immediately know the answer is five, but let's look at how that happens because this is part of the pattern I want you to see. So the starting point is two, we're adding, so we're going up, and we're going up by three steps, and we'll end at five. Now, what about negative two, subtract three? Here, we start at negative two, but because we're subtracting, we're going down, and we're going down by three steps, and so we will end up at negative five. Now, can you see what has happened here in the negatives is really kind of a mirror image of what's happening in the positives. So what we're seeing is that negative 2 subtract 3 is really just the same as what's happening with 2 plus 3, except it's happening in the negatives. And so if we see negative 2 subtract 3, we know we're at negative 2 going down. It's going to have the same effect as being at 2 going up, but it is in the negatives. So how does that help me? Well, I'm very good at doing addition because I've been doing it since primary school. So I'm going to use that instead of the subtraction. So if I'm faced with a problem like this one, negative 14 subtract 23, I know that that means I must start at negative 14 and I must go down 23 steps. But I know that that's just going to be the mirror image of starting at 14 and going up 23 steps. So I know that this thing is going to give me the same answer as if I start at 14 and go up 23 steps, except obviously it's going to be negative. And 14 plus 23 is very easy, that's 37. And so here I know my answer will be negative 37.